Hey folks, it's Eddie for Watch Before You Buy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Galaxy A13 and how to add the SIM card too. So let's see how to do that first. Let's open the box. So let me do that first. I'm going to put this on the side, and here is the smartphone. So let's remove this. All right, so the first step is done. And now let's turn on the smartphone. So let's just press here on the button and hold. All right, when you feel the vibration and see the logo, just release the button. And now we'll have to wait a little bit here for the phone to boot up. By the way, if the phone is not turning on, that means that your battery is low, so you should for definitely first charge the phone and then try this again. So just make sure that you have enough of battery. All right, now the phone is on. The first thing I'm going to do here is to change the language. So tap here if your phone is set to another language which you don't want to use. So I'm going to choose here. Let's say Australia doesn't really matter for me. I'm just showing you how to set up so English Australia tap on OK and now you can see everything is translated to English so once you do that uh, just tap here on start and uh, you will get this message to insert the SIM card but we will do that later so let's just ignore that for now uh, the next step is to um, confirm these few things which we need to confirm so uh, the first one is the user license agreement and the second one is the privacy policy so you need to check both of them if you have some other options then those options here are not, probably not going to be um, required so you don't have to check them uh, if you don't like uh, also you have here details so you can tap on details and read a little bit more about this I'm just going to um, skip that i don't need to read the details i already know what it's in there so i'm just going to check everything tap here on agree so on the next screen you'll have this uh, permissions for samsung apps and services and pretty much everything is turned on and i advise you actually to um, leave all of this on um, if you don't know what it is if you're not sure if you do know what it is and you want to turn off some of these options go ahead uh, but uh, in general, I would just advise you to leave all of this as it is. Tap on Agree. And here on this screen, you have your network connections. I'm just going to connect. Okay, so now I have added my password here, and I'm going to just tap here on Connect. And now once you connect, you will have to wait for the updates. This perhaps is not going to happen to you. It all depends if the phone requires updates if it does then you'll have to wait a little bit here for uh, all of those updates to get downloaded and installed okay now that that's ready on the next screen we have a copy apps and data so here if you want to transfer the data from another phone to this phone uh, you can do that too just tap here on the next and you can see here um, if you go next again, you will have an option to just connect to another phone and then just transfer your images, applications and all other stuff uh, into this phone. Uh, now in this presentation, I'm going to skip that actually. So once you come to the screen, if you like to skip this step uh, and you don't want to transfer from another phone to this one, you can just here tap on don't copy. Okay, so on this screen, you will have an option to uh, Logging into your Google account if you have one I definitely advise you to do that if not just tap here on the skip once you do that you will see uh, this warning which tells you that you will not be able to use Google Play Store to download uh, the apps and also there will not going to be any backup uh, on your data at least Google backup so these are two options that you're going to lose if you don't have a Google account so I'm going to tap here on skip again and on the next screen, you just have a few options like uh, use location and different things. So I advise you again here, just leave everything as it is um, and tap on accept. Okay, so the next step has to do with protection. You can choose how to unlock your phone. Um, I'm going to choose here pin. So I'm just going to add a simple four digit number here, one, two, three, four, just to 
go through this step. All right, now that we are done with that, in this screen, uh, you have certain apps that will be downloaded by default. So if you don't want some of these apps to be downloaded, um, you can just kind of uncheck them, those apps that you don't want on your phone. So I'm going to actually leave everything um, selected here, but you can go through the apps and uncheck any app you don't want on your phone. And after that, just tap on OK. OK, so here on this screen, we have an option to log in into our Samsung account. So again, if you have one, you can do that if you like. I'm just going to skip this step. You can see here, uh, skip button, tap on it. And again, it tells you which things will not be available to you if you don't log in into your uh, Samsung account. Of course, all of these things you can get with your Google account too. So this is some, it's up to you really if you want to log in into this account or not. If you don't have one, just tap again on skip. And that's pretty much it. You can see it's all set up now. Just tap on finish and we are done with the setup. All right, now the phone is ready to be used. Um, of course, I would advise you actually to just leave the phone as it is for a while. Let it download all of those apps. You can actually see a small icon here. You can see that it's downloading something. So I would advise you to leave your phone uh, until all the downloads are done. And then once that is done, we can uh, together add the SIM card. So I'm just going to leave it like this for all the downloads to finish. And then I'll show you how to add the SIM card. All right, now that all apps are installed, we can see here that all the setup is done and uh, all the installations are finished. The last thing we need to do here is to add the SIM card. So let's see how we can do that. So on the left side, here you have a small hole. So you will going to take your pin and just put it in the hole and just press a little bit. Now let's take out the tray. And just do this gently. And once you take out the tray, take your SIM card and then just put it here in this second place. So this is for your primary SIM card. Then you have another one. You can add it here. And the uh, SD card goes here. So once you add your SIM card, and don't worry, you can add it only from one side. It's not going to fit from another side. Take the tray and put it back inside of the phone. Press the tray to go all the way in. And now just press the button and the phone it will ask for the pin of the SIM card. So that's 8318 for me. And once you add the password, that's pretty much it. Now we can unlock the phone and start using it. Once you unlock the phone, it's going to redirect you to the SIM card manager. You can see here the SIM card is successfully added. Just tap here on done. And that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this uh, video is useful to you. Uh, and uh, as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. See you in the next one.